Lesson one is just going to be about algebra, so let's get started. So when we're getting started, we're going to talk about factorizations. So factorizations, you're going to need to know a difference of squares factorization, which if we have a squared minus b squared for any value of a and b, a and b are constants, this can be factored as a minus b times a plus b it can be factored into a product of binomials as you can see now product of binomials a plus b squared this is expansion now when we're squaring a binomial you square the first term and then you square the the take the product of the terms so the product of the terms is a times b, which is ab, and you multiply it by 2, so we get 2ab, and then we square the last term b, and we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This can be factored as any product of binomials for a and b, plugging your values and you and plugging your values for a, and you just product of the terms, compute the product of the terms. This is useful for squaring numbers. So if you want to square like 14, 14 is like 10 plus 4. 14 is 10 plus 4. Square it. And that's what you'll get. So, that's the square of binomial. Squares of binomials factorization. Expansion, I should say. And this can obviously be placed into this form. It's original form. Now, those are the main factorizations you're going to need for math counts. But if you want to know more, Here's sum and difference of cubes. Sum of cubes can be factored as a plus b times a squared plus a actually is going to be a negative a squared minus minus the b plus b squared now you can check this by expanding we have a cubed minus a squared b plus a plus b squared a then we have b a squared b these cancel just cancels until you have a cubed plus b cubed now you're Difference of cubes is the same thing, just with different signs. Plus b squared. Change the signs and you get what we want is our difference of cubes. This doesn't really matter too much, the difference of cubes, so you can really, you don't need this too much for math counts, but just keep it in mind. So I'm going to go and erase it. Now, factorization is the main thing you need to know. You also need to know polynomial expansion, which include binomials. So basic polynomial expansion, if we have x plus y times x plus y. To expand binomials, we first, we multiply x by each term here and multiply y by each term here. So here's what we're going to do. x times x, that's x squared x times y, that's xy. y times x, that's just xy again. And then we have y times y, which is y squared. And this is just x squared plus 2xy, combine your like terms, plus y squared. And that's the, just the expanded form of this. If you didn't know, this is already a square of a binomial. Right, this can be written as x plus y squared. And if we expand this, we have x squared. Proct of the terms is xy. Multiplied by 2, we have 2xy. Square of the last term, we have plus y squared. And we get the exact same thing we needed to do. You could have just done the binomial, product of binomial, square of binomial expansion, and gotten the same thing. This goes for any binomial you could add or th these are binomials if we add some terms over here we'll get a polynomial now polynomials do the same thing you multiply each term over here by every single term over here 
You keep going until you're done. So if I was to erase all of this, if we were to add on some terms, all a big mess, really. All right, so. Let me give an example of polynomial expansion. Expand this over here. Now expanding this, we're using the same rules. x multiplied by each term. x squared plus xy plus xz. y gets multiplied by all the terms. Plus xy plus y squared plus yz. Now, we have lots of terms. Let's break this down. x, y, where else do we have an x, y? We have x, y over here. If we combine them, we get 2x, y. We have x, z, and we have y, z. Those are two different terms. x gets multiplied by the z, two different terms. We have a y squared term and an x squared term. We can move stuff around, it's all addition. So x squared, I'm combining these two to make 2xy. And then I have the xz and the yz. I'm going to place the, we have plus xz plus yz plus y squared. This is our expansion process. We multiply each term here by every single term here. X gets multiplied by all the terms here. Here, and Y gets multiplied by all the terms here. We sum them, we combine all of our like terms, and we get to the expansion. Now, most of the time, when you're multiplying your polynomials and binomials, it's going to be related to area and geometry and math counts. That's what we tend to be, what we tend to see in the school and chapter competitions however if you go to some of the higher levels such as state nationals state and nationals you might see actual problems involving polynomial expansion like algebra problems which we will go over in a second now we've what we've covered we've covered we've covered difference of squares square of binomial binomials polynomial expansion. We've really covered everything we really need to. We know how to factor. I've given multiple examples of how you can factor this. So let's move on to the problems. All right. If a plus b equals 6 and 2a plus b equals 9, compute the square of the value of the difference a squared minus b squared. Now, first things off, what do we think? What are our thoughts? Some ideas. I want you to think of some ideas and try the problem on your own before you see this in my walkthrough. All right, so hopefully you've g gone through some ideas, maybe come up with a solution, and now you want to compare it to mine, or you're stuck in the problem and you want to view the solution so you can do a step-by-step -step analysis of what you did wrong and how you can fix it in the future or where you're stuck on. I want you to look at the a squared minus b squared. Let's try and use our difference of squares factorization. This is the key sign that we're going to be factoring a lot in this problem. Times a plus b. A plus B, right here. Now let's read the rest. A plus B is 6. A plus B is 6. We have A minus B times 6. Alright, and 2A plus B is equal to 9. Now, 2A plus B is equal to 9, right? And we let's expand this. We have 6 times A minus B. Let's just expand this. 6, just basic distributive property, minus 6b. So that's what we're computing here. 
That's not going to help us too much, though. 2a plus b equals 9. And a plus b equals 6. Let's try and now solve for a variable in this. Let's try and solve for a. So if a plus b equals 6, let's move the b, move some terms around. We get 6 minus b. Check out the second equation. We have 2a plus b equals 9. We know a is equal to 6 minus b. Now all we need to do, we can just do plug in as a, 6 minus b. Plug it in. 2 times 6 is 12 minus a 2b. That's the term over there. Now, we're adding it to b. And all of this is equal to 9. Now, let's try and combine our terms. 1, I'm going to take 12 over the other side. So I'm going to have negative 2. And we're going to make some space for ourselves over here. No, 12 minus 2b plus b is equal to 9. Now, let's take over 12 to the other side. We have negative 2b plus b is equal to 9 minus 12. Now, let's compute the value over here, which is equal to 9 minus 12. Now, 12 minus 9 is 3. We have a negative over here, so we get negative 3. Now, we're going to compute. We're going to simplify this down. Negative 2b plus b. Well, negative 2 plus 1 is negative b. That's negative 1. That's just negative b. Negative b equals negative 3, which tells us that b is equal to 3. Now, b is equal to 3. Let's go over the first equation. We have a plus b equals 6. Let's substitute a b in. We have a plus b plus 3. Or not b equals 3. So that's a plus 3 is equal to 6. Now a is equal to 6 minus 3. a is equal to 3. So we know a is 3 and b is 3. Now we're asked to compute the square of the value of the difference a squared minus b squared. Hello? Now we know that a, a equals 3 and b equals 3. And now a, and we're going to compute the difference. So we have 3 squared minus 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. We're left with 0. Now we're asked to compute the square of this. 0 squared is 0. So after all this work we come to an answer of 0. We're done with the first problem. Let's move on to the next problem. It's a little bit different. I want you to go ahead and look at the problem. Think about some ideas, how we would approach the problem, like approach approach a problem like this. And yeah. Okay. So we have x plus one equals two hundred five. This tells us that x is equal to two hundred four. Now we know what x is, but Computing 4x squared plus 4x equals, that's going to be too long. We want a fast way to handle the problem. Now, let's take a look at this over here. Let's try to factor a little bit. I have 4x squared plus 4x. I can try to factor a 4, but I'm still left with a 4x squared inside. So I'm going to fact factor a 4x out of the equation. X and then plus 1. Now we're left with this. This is the factored form of this. Exact same thing. We know x is 204. We know x plus 1 is 205. 
and we know that this is 4x, x plus 1 is 205, which is equal to 205y, right? Now we have a much simpler equation. We can just equals 205y, so it means 4x, divide both sides by 205, we get 4x is equal to y. Now we're asked for what, what value of y will we get then? All we need to do is substitute x for this. So now we have 204 multiplied by 4. 4 times 4, that's 16. 0 times 4, that's 0. Add on the 1. 2 times 4, that's 8. We get 816 as our final answer. Hopefully this video is helpful, and yeah, it's lesson one of math camps preparation.